problems, or perhaps in this case I should say the right, to negotiate our own independent trade agreements. I will in a little while. So a year on from the referendum, a year on from the government's announcement that it was taking back competence on international trade negotiations, yet the Cabinet is still divided on what it's all been about. This is extraordinary, Madam Deputy Speaker. The country is crying out for leadership, and all its current leaders can do is sit around the Cabinet table plotting who amongst them should be their next leader. A year on. A year on. What has been achieved? I, I give way to one of their previous leaders. Can I just uh, thank the Honourable uh, for giving way? He is very busy asking the government what their position is, and we have set that out. The government has set it out very clearly, out of the single market, out of the customs union, setting trade deals. But I think, as he speaks for the opposition, perhaps he could now clarify what the opposition's position is. After the election, having fought the manifesto on a very clear commitment to leave the European Union, his leader and his shadow chancellor both said, we're leaving the single market, we're leaving the customs union. The member for Camberwell and Peckham said, we are leaving the single market, we are leaving the customs union. But when he was interviewed, and when his colleague, the uh, Shadow Brexit Secretary, interviewed, they never confirmed what their leader and their Shadow Chancellor said. They've done an intricate dance around it. So I ask him a very simple question. Well, the Is the Labour Party's position to leave the single market and to leave the customs union and make trade deals? I, 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 I would urge the right honourable gentleman uh, to read precisely what our our manifesto says. And we've made, we have, we, 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 have, we have made our position extremely clear on these points. Um, and that is that we are leaving the European Union. Um, and, and what that means is that if we leave the European Union, uh, we are wanting to secure the best benefits. And, and we will look we will look to secure exactly what, exactly what the Secretary of State for exiting the European Union said he would achieve, which is the exact same benefits as we currently have inside of the European Union. The, the Honourable Gentleman really does need to allow me does need to allow me to respond to one of his interventions before he seeks to follow up with a second. The, the, the trouble with the Honourable Gentleman is he doesn't want to listen to the answer. Is the Honourable Gentleman quite calm? No, I'm not. <laughs> order, order. Order, order. Mr. I'm sure Mr. Gardner will take the intervention when he wants to. Barry Gardner. Thank, thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Um, as, as I was saying before, I was persistently, and I have to say quite rudely persistently, interrupted. 